Last week at the auctions, episode two, season one, and America's hottest new YouTube series, hosted by me, Josh Levine. You know me, the actor, appraiser, auctioneer, cheerleader, comedian, consultant, humanitarian, politician, realtor, and former rock star. But do you know my current vocation? No? The unemployed vlogger. Thank you for tuning in and all your amazing feedback. And with that said, let's get on with it. I'm not supposed to talk so much, which I get. It's my top 10 list of auction highlights from around the globe, or as I like to call it, last week at the auction. And this week's list is nuts. People were spending buku. Let's count down the craziest, shall we? Casey Kasem style. Coming in at number 10. It's a Royal Dalton figurine of Henry VIII. The reason I point this guy out is it just might be a sign of life in the collectible figurine world. It had an estimate of 400 to 800 at Whitley's in Florida, but it sold for $1,250. That's pretty cool. So what's number nine? It's a polished Schrade five bolt diving helmet, and I just thought it was cool. And selling for 11,500, that was awesome. The folks at Nation's Attic in Wichita, Kansas had to be happy with that great auction. Now, number eight. What is that, you ask? Well, it's a 28 Great Star American flag that sold at Freeman's in Philadelphia. This flag commemorated Texas statehood and it came out in about 1846. Very rare example. And I'm sure they were quite surprised when it sold for I did promise you this episode was going to be nuts, and I promised to get back to the reality of things that us pickers are normally running into week, uh, you know, on a weekly basis, but you need to know these treasures are out there to keep you inspired and keep you hunting. So okay? All right, back to it. Lucky number seven. At Bertoyas in Vineland, New Jersey, this Santa on a polar bear growler toy, it's one of my favorites. So the reason it's on my list before I get back to it is that I bought one of these at a yard sale and sold it on eBay several years ago and when I saw this these are the kind of prices that kind of make you sick when you had this in your hands before but anyway I thought the estimate was high at three to four thousand dollars but this baby sold for thirty six thousand dollars gotta give it to Bertoya again for setting the toy world on fire with their results they are featured again, I think, later in my list because they're killing it as usual. So let's just keep going. Number six. And again, this is nuts. This is the Louis Vuitton X Supreme travel trunk from way back in 2017. Yeah, three years old. In a limited edition monogram and featuring silver hardware, it brought $125,000. You can't live in this stuff, people. Anyway, Christie's crushed it. This sale featured all things couture, and of course, there were some six-figure handbags. Duh. So to number five. The team at Codner sold this Tiffany & Company five and a half carat diamond ring, which I'm sure is gonna make one hell of an engagement, slash Christmas, slash anniversary, slash because, or he was caught cheating, gift, and the lady getting this, he is a keeper, ladies. And psst, by the way, he paid $281,750 after buyer's premium. And at over a quarter million dollars, ladies, he might just be crazy or rich, or he loves you so much that he had to express himself through material things because his mother didn't love his father and never forgave him for not being a good enough provider. So enjoy that gift and thank his mama. Shake it off, man. Number four.
Another auction house you will most likely hear me talk about a lot, a lot is John Moran. They always have great pieces and great results. And this 1961 Mercedes little convertible was adorable. And at $95,000, I think everyone was happy. The buyer, the seller, the auction house, etc. On the number three. We have a classic Tiffany Studios Dragonfly lamp. It's the 20 inch desk model, which, you know, Michon's in Alameda, California had the pleasure of offering this beautiful piece with an estimate of 75 to $90,000. And as always, Tiffany lamps perform. This little baby sold for $150,000. And what's at number two? A glorified giant music box. Known as the Akestron, this rare example by M. Velton's son, called the Style 3 Cottage Model, sold for $190,000, also at John Moran's. Man, they've had a nice run of auctions. Now that said, you know, I called it a glorified music box, but it's truly a mechanical marvel. And did I mention that it was nine and a half feet tall? I'm still just in awe of $190,000. <sighs> but coming in at number one. Oh, look, it's a cute little toy boat. Now, sure, it's a Marklin clockwork battleship and of museum quality, but are you ready for it? $170,000. Again, Bertoia and Vineland continues to inspire not only with toy auction results, but finding these rare gems. I choose to feature this one at number one because I love toys, plus the price was crazy, and oh, because I can, Heather. Once again, thank you as always for tuning into my channel. Please subscribe and share with your friends so I can keep bringing you all the latest and greatest from the auction world. As always, we will be talking vintage, retro, steampunk, antique, and unique. All things from this crazy picker hoarder yard sale storage and pawn subculture. I hope you love it as much as I do. Thank you again. Subscribe.